it is now 327. That is a long time for four things. Hello, good afternoon. Right now is afternoon where I am and what I'm doing. I have a little side braid action going on here. So today I'm going to be doing another thrift store haul. Um, my budget is $50 and instead of going to Goodwill, Salvation Army, one of those things, I actually want to see what's at Buffalo Exchange. Buffalo Exchange is like a place where you can sell your garments, you can buy garments, you can trade stuff. I have sold to them. I've been shopping at this store for like years several years they have a few locations in southern california and they're actually in the rest of the nation too in some select cities um so i'm gonna see what they have today i will say their prices are a little bit higher because they're very very picky about what they do buy from people and obviously they still need to make a profit and everything but they do have some good sales sometimes um, unfortunately, it's not like Goodwill or other places where they're like, oh, this week this tag is half off or this tag is a dollar. But either way, like I told you in my last thrifting video, I know that the prices are a little bit higher out in California in thrift stores at all. So we're going to see what we can get for $50. I'm mostly looking for summer clothes. So cute dresses, cute skirts, maybe tank tops to go with the skirts, maybe cool t-shirts to go with the skirts. Um, I don't know. I don't really wear a lot of shorts because I'm very specific with the type of shorts I like. So I, I prefer skirts and dresses over shorts and stuff. So we're going to see what we can get and I'll be trying on everything later. Um, and you might recognize this actually. It's from my last thrift store haul and even these shoes. I've been wearing these shoes that I got last time, like all the time. I literally wear these like all the time. So that was apparently a good purchase. So yeah, let's go ahead and go inside. back in the car and I have my tiny pile of things and I went over by like ten dollars this is my sixty dollars worth of clothing I told you they are more expensive probably double at least so that was rough that was that was really rough um, I actually didn't end up getting anything that was on sale because here's the deal there's some things that I got last time where I'm like, oh, I like it. Today, I wanted to make sure that I was getting stuff that I would wear over and over and over again and really love. And that's probably why my budget went more and I didn't get as many things. But I'm going to show them to you when we get to the house and then we can maybe accessorize them or pair them up with some other stuff so it's not just like here's my two outfits bye so I'm, I may have to do that do some finagling but anyways that was cool and yeah so let's go head home I think it was around 140 when I first got here it is now 327 that is a long time for four things so yeah 
Um, if you want to go to another thrift store like Salvation Army or Goodwill, I think I'm going to do that again next time. But today I just wanted to show you guys a little bit different and that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you later. All right. Here we are. I feel like I've just come back from the war. I don't know why this is so much <laughs> to deal with. But anyways, we made it back to the house and I have my whole four things <laughs> to show you uh, closer. So I went through a lot of different things. As you saw in the fitting room, I tried on a lot of stuff. A lot of those things, most of those things didn't make it in to the cut. So I'm going ahead I'm going ahead and showing you what did make the cut. Okay, so the first thing, which is on top of the pile. Okay, so the first thing is this skirt. This is like a midi length skirt where it like it hits below the knee. And it is, I believe this is herringbone print. Look at me knowing stuff. If it's not, I will correct myself. So this is herringbone print and it is flared at the bottom and it is a form fitting ting, but I'm going to be wearing this with a oversized shirt. Oh yeah, this is $15. And like last time, I'm gonna put the amount that I paid and the amount that it might have cost if I got it brand new at the store. Uh, so yeah, so that, oh yeah, $15 for that herringbone skirt. And then this, it was hard to pick a belt. They didn't have a ton of options, but I wanted something, you know, I'm gonna save that for next. Okay, so what I want to go with that skirt is an oversized shirt and interestingly enough i ended up finding i didn't even know until i got home that this was zara so i'm wearing a zara thing that i got before at goodwill and then this is zara i really like it because of the print and because of the flowy fabric and so it has the print on the front and on the back and it's in really good condition so whoever had this before me really took care of it or didn't wear it either way and this was 13.50 so this is actually cheaper than the skirt but i mean this is one of my favorite things if not the favorite thing that i got and i like the way even though there's a lot of patterns i like the way that it looks with the herringbone skirt and this is item number three this is 15.50 it costs and what's really cool is it has a tag on it the brand is called love in and this is just a little love note from god um, after coming home i saw that they have psalms 100 Four. and let's go ahead and look at what that scripture is I'm not familiar with too many brands that are Christian apparel and this is actually really cute it's one of the things that I was like I could wear this a lot Psalm 104 and this is one of my favorite scriptures actually too I don't know a lot of them by heart but I know the gist of a lot of scriptures so anyways Psalm 104 enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and praise his name so let's always be in a constant state of praising the Lord. Um, and I just think that's a really beautiful reminder. And now I like this even more. Okay. I am a huge fan of stripes and I am a huge fan of yellow. So when you look really close, it is like a mustard yellow or like a deep yellow. And that is one of my favorite colors currently right now. I have a lot of that stuff in my closet and I was like, great, you can go with the collection. So. That's an easy breezy thing and it shouldn't be too hot. I actually didn't try this on. This is one of the last things I got because I put some other stuff back that I was like, I'm for sure getting this. When I was in the fitting room, I was like, you know what? I want to get the things that I really want. Out of all the belts I saw, this one was $10. And I've been looking at these double buckle belts because a lot of people have been wearing them. And I was like, this is cool. I don't know where they find these things. And they probably tell, told me, but I don't care enough to actually pay attention. But yeah, this is... I don't think it's real leather, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it says made in China. I don't know the brand because it doesn't say it anywhere, but it was $10. It says Fame, I don't know what that means. Is that the brand? I don't know, is there a brand called Fame? So yeah, I tried it on over my clothes and it fits. Hopefully it doesn't get all raggedy and start peeling apart. But that is my haul from Buffalo Exchange and I have inserted some prices to see what it could have cost versus what it did cost. And as I've been showing you that, I've also been inserting what these look like with different outfits, trying them on with different things. Each thing I'm gonna be trying to mix and match with wardrobe pieces that I already have, which is great because having colors that I like, buying things that I actually want instead of what's trendy. I mean, it's hard not to do that. You feel like you should, if you love fashion, you'd be like, oh, this is trending, this is trending. But I was like, I want stuff that I'm actually gonna wear. I might end up paying double, but anyways, 
you saw what I got. What was your favorite thing that I purchased? Let me know in the comments. And I'd said this before, but I do have a Poshmark. So sometimes I get clothes from secondhand and sometimes I'm selling secondhand clothes. So I will link my Poshmark link down below if you wanna check that out and shop my closet. So this was a short and sweet video. I hope you guys liked it. Next time, like I said, I'll be probably going to Salvation Army or something cheaper, something that maybe has weekly sales or tags that are half off or a dollar or something like that to get some bargains. But I don't wanna just be like, I have two bags of clothes, but I don't really like them. So anyways, if you like that video and you wanna see more things like this, dealing with fashion and beauty, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click the notification button. Currently I'm here every Wednesday and Sunday sharing about my life and my walk with God and all that stuff. So I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, testing. Hi, this is me. Hmm. Oh no, where'd I put my phone? It's right there. Everybody calm down. We found the phone.